It's almost October and I'm melting, but anyway. I am going to paint. What was that about? So, um, a couple of you guys keep asking me, Annie, I want to see how you do it with fluid troll. Show me how you do fluid troll. This is really not going well. Alright everybody, so today's video I am going to use Fluatrol. I know, right? I always use only water and a little bit of dishwashing soap. If you watch any of my videos, you know that I've never tried any silicone, I've never tried Fluatrol, and today I have both those things. So, um, I want to learn and also I want to teach you guys. I am going to be painting fall colors since a couple of you guys asked me um, to do that. So I am going to actually be mixing some colors. So I want to show you guys, you don't need to just use the paint straight out of the tube. So um, I'm going to do browns and golds and um, rose golds, kind of peaches and creams and orange. And I want to do like a, a dark kind of burgundy rosy color. So here we go. And what else? So today I am going to paint, or I'm going to pour on this really cool piece of wood. So it's always the same wood that I use, the Walnut Hollow brand, guys. And everything that I use today, guys, I'm going to be listing in the description of this video. So check that out. So I'm going to pour on this and then... I really like this kind of detail that's right over here, so I'm going to try to pour just right over here because afterwards when I pour resin on top of this in a different video, um, I feel like this detail right here, the circle and this empty area is going to look really, really pretty. So that's that. And then I always have leftover paint, so with a leftover one, I'm going to make a little smaller one kind of to match this one. And that's it, guys. So let's get mixing. All right, guys, here we go. So something new, I found these new cups that are a little bit smaller than the usual cups that I use. So these are the usual, like, you know, the red cup size. Um, but I found these, and these are actually clear, so I figured these will be easier for you guys to see when I'm mixing the paint. So I'm using these today. So um, again, dollar store, I think these were like 30 of them for a dollar, which was fantastic. And, you know, I usually don't see this because I know that I would have bought them by now. So I bought like five or six pack of these. So if you find the clear ones or something that you like at the dollar store, they don't always have the same things all the time. So just, you know, they're a dollar a pack, so stock up a little bit. So here we go. Let's start mixing. So um, a new paint that I'm going to use today is this paint right over here. Um, okay, you see that's um, Amsterdam. I've used them before to paint, but I've never used them to pour before, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So, um, it's the standard series, and I'll put all the names. This one's called, this this color is so funny, it's called Naphthol Red Light, but it's orange. So, here we go. So, I'm going to start with this color. And guys, usually, you know, um, ooh. That's, let's start with that much. Um, I watch other tutorials too for me to learn as well because you know I've never used Fluatrol before and this is the Fluatrol I'm using. I think it's called, I think that's the brand, it's called Flood. Um, this is the only one that I've actually seen people use but I'm sure there's other brands so whatever brand it is just the Fluatrol will be great. And I smelled it earlier, it smells like glue and I've seen people use glue before. Ooh, okay. So here we go. Um, so yes, yeah, so I watch other people's tutorials, you guys, just to learn, just like you guys, you know, watch mine or other people's, but um, I feel like every paint have, has a different consistency, so there isn't like a secret um, amount, like I say, one to one or, you know, one part to one part. I just feel like all your paint has to just flow well. So here we go. I'm doing this for this first time with you. So this is a test. Let's see how this works. I don't know if I have to add. Oh, wow, that mixed real. That is already mixed. Wow, look at that, okay. I'm gonna try a little bit more fluid troll. I wanna see if I'm gonna have to add water to it or not. It's, okay, so um, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, you guys, and this is just straight water. I don't have dishwasher soap, and I'm gonna put a very tiny amount just to make it a tiny bit more loose. So let's see. Okay, add a touch more. I like my paint. I don't want to use the word runny, but I want it. I like it when it moves very easily because I've seen people when they do their pores and they don't. Um, their paint isn't too runny. When they do their flip cup, they really have to force the paint to go around, and I don't like to do that because I feel like if you do one quick motion the way I usually do. 
that's a see that's a good consistency right there um when you do one quick motion i feel like that's when the um the cells happen because of the movement because of the water and the silicone or the fluid or whatever you have in there i feel like that's what moves it quickly so yeah there we go so that's a nice consistency so this is another Amsterdam color. This is called Naples Yellow Deep. So this color is a little yellow for me, so I am going to mix this with one of my other favorite colors that I've used before with you guys with the Artist Loft um, Portrait Pink. So don't be afraid to mix your own colors and make your own colors. You don't have to use the tubes directly. Fluitrol mixes real quick. That saves a lot of time. When I mix it with water, it takes so much longer. Okay, everybody, so all my colors are mixed here, and I love, love, love how these came out. So, again, don't be afraid to mix your own colors. So if you don't like the color straight out of the tube, you can add a little bit to it, all right? So we mixed our colors with Fluatrol and a dash of little water. Guys, so I'm going to add silicone now, so let's see what the magic about this is all about. So I'm going to add it into the white, to the orange. Eh, we'll put a little in all of them. Maybe some more than others. All right. So let's give that a nice mix. So I got that silicone, guys, from Home Depot. It was next to the... It took me a while to find it. It was next to the WD-40. I think that's what it's called. Um, and you know, when I ask some of the people, they kind of... They didn't know what it was, and I don't really know what else this is used for. Um, so you can find it on Amazon, you can find it online, eBay, whatever you guys, you know, wherever you shop. But if you look for it in Home Depot, just ask a couple people, you will find it. So our paints are ready, guys. So let us set our cups for our canvas or wood piece. Let's do that right over here. All right. So we are going to place our pretty wood piece right over here. And guys... We are going to make sure that our canvas is super, super leveled because if it's not, then what's going to happen is your pretty paint is going to slide off one side and all your cells, you're going to lose them all. So if you find that one side is not as leveled as the rest, just use one of your handy dandy little um, craft sticks. You could just do that and put it and usually most of the time that will be enough to fix whatever side is not leveled. So my piece right over here is pretty level, so I'm going to keep that right over here. Okay, I am so, so excited. So let us start our pour.
All right, guys, that looks already so pretty in the cup, so hopefully this comes out well. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Here we go. This looks really pretty in the cup. Please stay nice. Okay. I'm nervous, you guys. I'm so nervous. I feel like it's like the first time that I've poured, and it's not. All right. I forgot my torch, guys. I had to get my torch. All right, here we go. Wow. Oh, Holy moly, you guys, what is with these cells already? Okay, I get it now. I get the Fluatrol business. It doesn't move as easily though. All right, so kind of kept my little area that I wanted. Well, these are huge cells already. Oh, that is super pretty. Alright guys, check that out. Wow, that is a lot of cells. Really love how this came out, guys. So I feel like the Fluatrol obviously kept the paint a lot thicker. It's not as thin. And I feel like because of that, the paint is actually not spreading and it's staying where I want it to stay, which is amazing. The silicone and... Look at that, look at all these cells, that's crazy. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, guys. This is a test for me, so we'll see. I feel like I'm babbling, guys. Sorry if I'm babbling today. All right, guys, so I'm super, super happy with this. I hope you guys learned from me. This was, again, this was a test for me, too. So I really do like how the Fluatrol and the silicone works. I am now going to put this aside after a few minutes and let it, like, sit a little bit. And then I'm going to pour on the smaller one with my leftover paint and see how that one turns out. Alright guys, so that's it. So I did two pours, and you can see that every time I pour, they come out differently. And even though I use the same exact colors, so I used Fluatrol in this, and I used silicone, and I got, again, I got beautiful cells in this one and the one previously to this. So, um, yeah, I got the same results as I do when I do water and dish soap, but this was great too. Again, I really like this Fluatrol because I feel like because the paint is a little bit thicker, the paint actually sits in its place more, so... I, love, I like both ways, so I guess whichever you want to do, experiment here and there and see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned. Don't forget, guys, give me a thumbs up on this video and make sure you're subscribed. And I will talk to you guys soon.